What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we had the launch of the prefix titles today, which is pretty exciting, I gotta say. And um, you know, thankfully, I have a, a pretty cool one here for Marshall. But what I wanted to go through was what I've been looking forward to for a while. And maybe these rankings were out there already on third-party apps or maybe the leaderboards. But obviously, the team has revamped the whole thing now to make it easier to see how this all breaks down and how the running is going to be for any and all people that will be chasing these top prefix titles. So just a quick refresher. Let's go here. So... Um, uh, there's an, a nice little League of Verico kind of uh, lore thing that the team has done where you can see all of the different prefix titles and the bonuses that they do give you in your rank rewards, right? So uh, these aren't just for show. Uh, they actually have real world tangible, you know, um, things. So like for me, I'm able to get a plus 10%. You go all the way to the top and uh, let's close out of this. And, uh, you know, Vonark and Overseers are getting 50%. Now, Vonark is like literally literally the top of the top it is uh you know the one one of one essentially uh but overseer is going to be for the next six territories right so one of one and then there's going to be because uh, there's seven total territories if i remember correctly um so out of those seven territories whoever is the top of that territory is going to be an overseer right at the very least and then of those seven overseers you're going to have one vonark right so that they wouldn't be an overseer there'd be a vonark uh and then you know uh you have magistrar sentinels for owning a castle rune guard for owning uh rooney or five rooney it was magistrar for uh the most research behind okay so the five people behind the overseer in each will get this magistrar magister title which gives you a 35 percent bonus that's still like significant which th this is what i'm trying to get to where i'm like okay now we're going to start to see the whales really jockey for position so let's go back to the rankings here because you know unfortunately for von vonark right the top spot that is very much out of reach for most folks you can see here Vugtus is at the top with 20 million research tokens already the second person behind him is michael b who has barely even one fourth of that, right? Five million versus the 20 million. So Von Ark, I think, is safely going to be in Vugtis's hands. But if we start to go through each of these, um, you know, the top six spots are going to be ones that have some kind of title associated with them, right? So you can see here uh, for the Overseer, right? So Druid's Blood is only about 300,000 or 350,000 ahead of the, the Dagny Taggart account. But then, you know, all of these other ones here, so Dagny Taggart all the way down to Azurkhan, uh, these are all trying to make sure that they remain in the top five, even if they're not, even if they're not going for the top uh, one. So you know, fantasy crypto, sharks land, uh, maybe they're within striking distance, maybe not. But you can see, uh, what is this, two hundred twenty thousand, about three hundred thousand. So uh, again, uh, and uh, we can we can go through all of them. But uh, you, you kind of get my point here, right? And part of what I wanted to do was just see how viable this is going to be, right? So Michael B in Broken Lands is at the top by about 700,000 over Cryptomancer. I mean, a Cryptomancer is competitive. I feel like he's going to want to get up there at some point. But coming down here, right? So you can look at where the, what is this called? The Magister ends, right? So at the number six spot. I mean, B's cards is less than 60,000 research tokens ahead of Matt Clark. Shout out to Matt Clark. Um, and then, you know, Matt Clark currently is getting 300 per hour versus B's card. So over time, Matt Clark should be able to catch up if nothing else happens. But here's the thing, right? If B's card sees this, well, they're going to be like, well, what can I do to make sure that I'm getting six more, uh, you know, tokens per hour so that Matt never does catch me? Things like that. Uh, let's see how the spread is in other areas. So Land of Prosperity, SPS Whale, I believe that's Aggie's account. Uh, looks like he's pretty far ahead in terms of the overseer title and then for magistrar you got 948 at the top spot here but it ranges all the way down to 364 so check this out moo rentals fighter for freedom both of these are within striking distance right less than 10,000 research tokens away i think this might spur people to get you know either more land activated and or uh, just better cards on their land, right? In order to uh, in order to take advantage of that, um, and let's see, 
109 per hour, 85, 85. Yeah, I mean, if I was them, I'd be taking a look. And and here's the thing. We're probably not going to see the impact of this for a, a couple of weeks at the very earliest, in my opinion, simply because it's going to take time for people to either remove folks from their land or get new land generated and then really start to play this game. So it's not, it's not something that's going to happen quickly. It's going to happen over time. But like I said, all that jockeying for position should get more DEC burned potentially or get more cards off the marketplace or both uh all right so Vuctus here clear lead in uh in what's a central fire jarvis next at 3.5 million now this goes all the way down to 1 million for neoxian and then jeff open cards uh jeff opens cards shout out to you um at 859 so about 160,000 sure moriarty 95 and jester are all around that same area but they're not at the same rate of return as Neoxian or, or the Hive Engine accounts. So check that out. 500 energy per hour. I think that's the highest. Well, no, obviously, Bug is going to be the highest, but that was interesting. Okay. Jarvis getting 849. Let's see Wild Northeast. Um, all right. So Kesserin is at the top, 3.3 million. Uh, and then you got Yaba Matt. Shout out to the founder of the game or co founder of the game. 300,000 behind. And, and I got to say, I mean, I'm sure Matt wants that title, right? You can see Matt already has more per hour. So will this be on Kesserin to at some point try to match that at the very least to maintain the lead? We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then uh, the big drop off there. So let's go to the bottom. Steam Mitt Romney, 822,000. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say Sky Populi at 7-Eleven is not too far out of the mix. In fact, over time, they will catch up. And then, of course, you got Vuktas again. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I go back? All right. Let's just like look at the last two since we're going through. My, my intention wasn't to go through all of them on the, on the video, but since we're at the last two, we'll just see where things are. So Immaculator. Oh, this is... See, it's funny because, like, look at this. This um, Great Lowlands doesn't have anybody over a million, yet you'll have another place with Vuktas at, like, 18 million or something like that. It's, it's kind of nuts. All right, so uh, Immaculator, 961000 for the, uh, what's that called? Overseer title. And, and sorry, the reason I pause is because it's making me think about now, like if you were to get into land or you wanted to like try and chase one of these titles, sure, you're starting from, you're, you'd, you'd be at a significant disadvantage, but you could also look and see like, hey, where are the places in which I should start buying land, right? Great lowlands might seem like a fantastic spot to go start collecting some of that research because i mean look at this five hundred thousand. that's not very high uh well i guess we i think we've seen lower uh but shout out to brave tofu who's at five hundred and thirty-two thousand. but you got fighter for freedom again uh behind by you know was this fifty two thousand? god is love by about a hundred thousand and then we'll just finish it off in shimmering coast and shimmering coast is like one of the the or it's the last one so i don't think it's even like fully uh, occupied yet so han v with 1.3 million Vukt is coming up again Vuk is gonna get like every single title you got nate aguila in this one shout out to nate with 619,000. um fighter for freedom getting the overseer title here housewife for the win about 60,000 behind jarvis in the mix here too so yeah you know i, I don't know where, how, and all of this is going to play out. But like I said, it's a whales game now. And when the whales fight and compete with one another, that generally tends to be good for the entire economy because they're burning a lot of DEC or staking a lot of DEC. They're using up a lot more cards. Again, is it going to be enough to you know turn the tide by itself? Probably not. But at the end of the day, um, you know, all of this stuff is going towards helping the economy and, you know, eating up a lot of the excess that we have there. Um, but that's all I have in this video for you guys. I just wanted to go through and see what the rankings were like and see what this is. I I'll say this. I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more competition for the Vonark title, just so that you'd have the biggest of the biggest whales really trying to duke it out there. But with that being settled for Vugtis, ah, uh, it, it, it's kind of like okay well i guess i guess that's that uh we'll just have to see if like the the little baby whales are able to to do something um but i think what will be fun to watch and uh you know i'll, I'll, I'll probably do a follow-up video to this in a couple of days or maybe next week is what the dec burn rate looks like and what the the land utilization looks like i believe as of today there's like 1.516 in fact actually why don't we just go there um, yeah, 1.516 million 
uh, DEC that has been staked. So if we start to see that pop up, you know, a couple hundred thousand or even like a million or a couple million, then we'll know that some folks are, you know, trying to get their trying to get their uh, land online, which again, good for the rest of us, right? So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.